Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue on Windows 10 that says Windows requires a digitally signed driver. So this tutorial will apply for Windows 10 Professional and Higher Editions because we're going to be going through the Group Policy Editor, which is unavailable in the Home Edition of Windows 10. I just want to put that out there right now. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in Local Group Policy. Best match to come back with Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to collapse the User Configuration section to your double click on User Configuration or left click on the IR next to it. We just don't want to have any exposure to duplicate folders here. I don't want to get anybody getting confused. So before you begin, you want to collapse the computer configuration folder. So you double click on it or left click on it or next to it to collapse that. Because we're going to be going underneath the user configuration folder for this tutorial. And once we're underneath user configuration, you want to go double click on the administrative templates folder or left click on it or next to it to expand the drop down. Now you just want to go ahead and left click on the system folder one time. On the right side, you want to find something that says driver installation. Double click on that. And now it should be something that says code signing for device drivers. Go ahead and double click on that. Select enabled. So once you're done with that, we're still going to have a Windows pop up here. You could disable it by clicking inside this drop down that says ignore. I would still suggest keeping a warn option here. You don't have to, but I suggest keeping a warn option just so you're not letting all drivers without digital signatures through. You'll still be prompted if you want to allow it or not, so I do kind of recommend keeping that for a security uh, feature. And once you're done with that, go ahead and select Apply and OK. Once you're done with that, you can close out of here, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.